Hey everyone, my name is Vijay. Welcome to SandTube 3D. Today we're going to be discussing the Creality Ender 3, how to set it up in Cura, and also how to import a profile to match the printer. Before we get started, if you guys want to check out a review or an assembly video on the Ender 3, feel free to visit my site. I'll put a link at the bottom. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do, of course, is to open up Google. And once you do that, just go ahead and type in here, Cura Download. And once you do that, it's the first result that you're going to get. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to the Ultra Make Cura page. Now, you notice I have a Mac, so it tells me that's the version, but you want to click on View All Versions. And that will bring you to this screen. If you have Windows, these are the versions for you. I'm using Mac so that's the one I'm going to be clicking on right there and this is the latest version and once you do that you're just going to go ahead and quickly fill out all these options here because that is required they just want to know what you're going to be using it for and what is it for educational purposes or whatnot so once you fill all these out you'll notice that your download started and once your download is done it's going to go ahead and just open everything up for Apple, go ahead and move the Cura file into the apps folder and then it'll load again. Hit OK at that screen and then there you go, 3.41. So once Cura loads up, this is the screen that you're going to be greeted with because for those of you that are doing a brand new install, you don't have a printer set up yet so the Cura is going to prompt you to do so. For those of you that have already been using Cura and are just trying to add the Ender 3, uh, you can also get to the same screen. I will show you how to do that. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on the Ultramaker Kira and then click on Preference. Go to Printers. As you can see, I have some printers already here, but it's not Ender 3. So I'm just going to go and click on Add. And that will bring you to the same screen right here. So for those of you, again, fresh install, never had a printer on Kira, first time downloading it, you'll be greeted with this screen once you're download is complete and for those of you that are trying to add the Ender, Ender 3 to the existing Cura that you already have with all your settings set up uh, that's the way you can get to this screen as well so from here on out everybody should be on the same page so continuing on as you can see Creality Ender 3 is not on here so we have to actually pick one so we're gonna go to other and on here you'll also notice that the Creality CR10 S4 S5 shows up but not the Creality Ender 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pick CR10. And down here, guys, you're going to go ahead and just change the name to whatever you want. We'll change it to Ender 3, and you just click on Add Printer. Once you add the printer, uh, you'll notice right here that it got added, like so. So what we're trying to do is set the parameters for this. Basically what that means is what's the build volume, uh, little fine details that's going to help you set up this printer. So once you have Ender 3 selected, you're going to go to Machine Settings. Once you do that, as you can see, because we picked the CR10 by default, it has all the CR10 parameters on here. So we need to go ahead and change this. So for X, we need to change it to 220. And as far as your Y print surface, 220. And then as far as your Z, which is your height, we're going to go with 250. Okay. Once you have these three entered here, we're going to go on to the next part, which would be right here. Make sure it's heated bed. Check it off, which it already should be. <laughs> and then you have Marlin down here, and then you start, uh, start G-code and end G-code. Go ahead and leave those the same. I've been printing with those, and I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Uh, the min and max, if you like, you can change it. Some people do, but I left it the way it is. Now, one quick advice, guys. Uh, see right here where it says origin at center? If you check this off and you go to Auto Home and when you print your prints, it's going to start printing at the top front left corner. Okay, so what, what you're doing right here is the CR10 center is not in the middle of the plate. It's at the left hand side towards the front. So make sure this is checked off. Okay, so if you guys run into that problem, 
where it starts printing on the left side towards the front, it's most likely 99% you have this checked off. So make sure you don't have that checked off. Okay, and next thing we're going to do is go to the extruder tab right here. Uh, make sure your nozzle size is 0.4 and the uh, um, material diameter is 1.75 because that's what most PLA filaments are and that's what we all use. So now you have the Ender 3 all set up and you're ready to rock and roll. So to select this, what you want to do is, let's just say if it's not selected, you can click up here in Cura and select which printer you want and each printer will have his own parameters as far as printing. So if you notice the square here, right now it's on Ender 3. If I switch it to Creality, it gets bigger. So that uh, that's your build surface right there and that's based on the parameters we just set. Okay, so we got Cura installed. We've set up the Creality Ender 3. So let's go ahead and import a profile. Now this profile works best for me, guys. So I'm going to show you what those are and where to get it from. So let's get started with that part. And it'll bring you to this page, which is SandTube 3D Printing Group. This is actually my Facebook group right here, guys. Uh, we have roughly around 1,700 members. Uh, this is a great great forum for any type of printer guys so if you're looking to join a group go ahead and do so by joining this one uh, the only conditions we have is that there is no negative talk there's no such thing as a stupid question and no advertising besides that uh, this page was strictly meant to just help people out and the ones that are the negative Nancy's they get kicked off right away but besides that uh, that's uh, the group right here that you can actually join I highly recommend you do so but to get the actual profile we're talking about, you'll see a file section on the left hand side right here. Go ahead and click on that. And once you click on that, you'll notice right here, say SAN 2.2 Cura Profile version 2. And it was uploaded in June 5th of this year. So you're going to click here and you're going to download this. And once you download this, um, we're going to import that into Cura. But before we do that, I know some of you guys like to actually have a visual. So if you notice right here, one of the people in the group actually typed up everything in there. I know it says 3.3, but you can actually use this for the 3.4 version as well. And everything that you need to select and take away all the BS that doesn't be need to be there in Cura and just set the parameters right there. So everything... Uh, is in PDF form as well, which I'll show you later on down the line. So once you download those two, let's go and go back to Cura and set everything up. So you'll notice I opened up the PDF here right next to Cura, guys, so you guys can get a better view, and this way you can actually see the values. Now, if you notice some of the settings on here, um, on the PDF version, which is my profile, it's not on Cura, or Cura has extra features on there, uh, that you don't see on my profile. So I'm going to show you how to select and deselect these things so you can have the exact same setup as I do in my profile here. So to select and deselect these settings, what you want to do is if you notice under quality, shell, infill, uh, you'll see a little gyro or like a wheel. Once you go ahead and click on that wheel, it'll bring up this page right here, which is the settings visibility. Basically, you can choose and pick what you want and what you don't want. So, for example, under quantity or sorry, quality, you'll see layer height, initial layer height, line width. But wall line width is something I don't have uh, selected, so I'm going to deselect that. And basically, just follow the PDF. Everything you see on there should be in order. Uh, go ahead and select, and anything that's not on the PDF file that you see on the right, go ahead and deselect. Okay, and once you go ahead and do this, uh, we'll just have to import the profile and we'll be good to go. And for those of you that don't have access to Facebook, I will go over all the features with you as far as what values to enter where. So I'm just going to go and speed this up. The PDF is going to stay stationary. So at this time, guys, you can go ahead and pause the video and copy all these down. Or actually, I don't need to go over it manually because you can actually visibly see what settings I have here. So once you select everything, I will show you how to import the profile. Alright guys, so while you're selecting and deselecting all the features or the, or the values, 
Um, you can, after you, this part is done, you can enter the values in by hand by following the PDF on the right hand side. But for the, those of you that just want to go and import the profile, I'll show you two ways of doing that. Okay, so once all this is done, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to Ultramaker Cura and Preference, and then from there it'll bring you to this screen right here. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is right under Profile on your right hand side, you can click there, Manage Profile, and also take the same screen. So click on Profiles, which is at the bottom, and once you do that, click on Import. Find the profile where you downloaded it and where you saved it to, and once you do that, it will say Successfully Imported. Now that we've imported it, we have to just go ahead and select it. You can go on the right hand side right under profile. From the scroll down menu you should see SAN2.2. You can rename this if you want. But once you select that profile, if you have any settings that doesn't match mine, it'll ask you to either disregard it or keep it. Go ahead and disregard it. If you want to keep those values, you can keep it. It's really up to you. And once that's done, uh, if you go back and check, you'll notice all the values that are in there now are actually the values for my profile right there. The only thing you guys need to change is if you scroll down eventually you'll see like a little orange highlighted block. I don't know why it does that in Cure guys but if you just change that from a 4 to a 0.7 and click outside that box it will go away and that should solve your problem and everything else should be good to go. And all the values now should match what's on the PDF. I brought the PDF back up just in case you guys need to take a look at that. Besides that, everything else should be good to go. Um, supports will not show until you click on it. Um, besides that, all these fields should have the same value as the PDF on the right. So, so that brings us to the end of our video, guys. How to ed set up the Creality Ender 3 for Cura, the newest version, 3.41. Also, I showed you guys a profile that works best for me for the Ender 3. I hope it works just as well for you guys. There are a few things that you'll need to change, but that's just minor, such as temperature retraction based on what type of filament, things like that that you're using. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns, go and leave it down below. You know I get back to every single one of you guys' comments. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you don't, then hey, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more new content. If you want to support this channel and help it grow, there's some links down below you can check down below. And like always, guys, good luck and happy printing.